Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a video on the pattern change that is going to be occurring across um, North America. And it's actually two major pattern changes. The first pattern change is that it's going to get much warmer across much of America, especially the eastern half because they've been cold all this time. And as you can see, the last cold shot of air happened a couple days ago. But then after that, the the warm air from about from the mountains spills onto the into the, pretty much all of the USA will be in warm air you could see above average because anywhere you see red that's above average anywhere you see blue that's below average temperatures so um you can see that happens that continues for quite a while but here is where the a um pretty much the pattern change occurs into much colder air and as you could see it's warmer here in the southeast, and it's colder in the northwest, okay? So, between these two, um, between these two areas is where always, it's called the barrel clinic zone, and that is where the temperatures pretty much fight for dominance, where the colder and warmer air meet, and often there's a weak spot there for storms, so... Any storm riding along, <clears throat> sorry guys, any storm that's riding along could get through here and pass up. So if that were to happen, then that would bring storms across Ohio Valley, parts of the um, central U.S., uh, south central U.S., and the Midwest and Northeast. So, and you can see that continues for quite a while. Still, that zone just continues before the cold air finally overwinds it. But it doesn't mean that oh, storms can still ride through here. It's just it's going to be a little bit harder for them to do. So as we look, um, you can see the temperatures are going to be absolutely freezing. Because, I mean, I'll show you guys in a minute. But let's look at the rain slash frozen. And let's go and let's just actually stay here. Let's rewind this back. So pretty much. Okay, so this pattern change could cause huge storms to pass up through the u.s because it opens up air for the it opens up the moisture from the pacific ocean and it's cold air so anywhere it's cold enough you could see there's a rainstorm that just passes through there because that's during the warm phase of the pattern change and this is the storm that's going to be one of the first ones it drops from colorado so it's going to be colorado low and it sets up a band of snow across much of Wisconsin, southern Minnesota. I mean, this is still far out, but um, it's been showing for the last several days around this time that there's going to be a storm. So, And you can see that shifts off into the northeast. And then another storm, this is what I'm talking about. We haven't had a storm like this and since we hadn't had a storm like this the whole winter yet. Because the earlier pattern, it was where cold air was just like this, and a pattern, a jet stream was just right through the central uh, U.S., and then it went back into a ridge across the west. So what that brings is Alberta clippers that could just hit through, but Alberta clippers are weak storms that don't break a lot of snow, so that's not going to really boost your snow total unless you get a lot of them. Um, so... These storms is are what count, and around Christmas, you can see this is uh, Christmas Eve, so another storm that's going to pass through, and this is still far out, but for the past several days and runs, this GFS has been showing this, and you can see it just goes through and passes through another one, and then you can see another one forming, starting to form here, so, and now I kind of want to go back to the US, Con US right here. So continental U.S., that's what it is. And I want to show you guys the 2-meter air temperature to actually show you guys how cold it's going to be and how warm it's going to be with this warm-up. So you can see this is still a little bit before the warm-up. This is Saturday. But finally, it, there's the warm-up. So a lot of these areas have been below freezing here much of the day, much of the, previous, uh, the past days. And now they're going to be above freezing during the night, during the day. So, and you can see this is where the pretty much all this cold air opens up, and there's still moisture from the Pacific Ocean lows coming in from here. So the lows set up right there, and the cold air will be in place. So um, it will be it'll just pretty much a snow swath will set up right along here. Any storms that passes through, so you'll sneak right through here, and then here's the temperature gradient. 
the bare clinic zone so it rides up right through here it could go here it could go here it could go here it could go here so pretty much area of snow is just right in here that could happen um it could be into northeast it could be into northern minnesota also depending where the storm rides so a lot of snow potential big storms are coming up guys mark my words on that I'm fairly confident that's what's going to happen. And some of this cold air is just going to be absolutely insane. Just look at that. That's, this is actual Fahrenheit temperatures. This isn't Celsius. This is Fahrenheit. So you could see 11 below during the night in Madison. Four, uh, I think that's like 4 in Chicago. So pretty cold air for December. Uh, and it's pretty much across most of the country you could see. Cold air, cold, cold air. So... A lot of chances of storms, big storms and snowstorms. So big pattern change coming up. So a brief warm up and then a big pattern change, huge pattern change, I think I'll say, because this is going to change the course of winter for many. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. As always, guys, see you guys on the next episode.